Charterman, 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 On the ass? Really? Hey, what's up you guys? Charmus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on the Marvel Legends Vulture from the Fearsome Foes Pack. This is actually the only one I have not reviewed yet, so this uh, completes my reviews of the Fearsome Foes Pack, by the way. If you didn't already see the other ones, uh, check them out. If you just do a search, you know, hopefully you'll find them. But anyway, this figure is amazing. Definitely one of the best comic-to-figure adaptations I have ever seen. I just think this is so dead on. This is damn near perfect. But it does his left arm broke and I'm not the only one that has one with a broken left arm. I think it was Action Figure Expert and Bug Nice 10 both told me about how theirs broke on the left arm. I'm pretty sure it was the, both of those guys. So that really sucks that, you know, this broke and it was actually quite recent so I had him for quite some time before it broke and I was just posing him and snapped so that sucks right at the shoulder joint to the bicep right there is where it broke you can see the hot glue right there so yep that's a bummer but um then the other thing is this ankle pivots weak but aside from that i mean this thing is just dead on accurate comic book to action figure adaptation i just love it he's got an amazing sculpt i mean this head sculpt first off is just fantastic this just looks like the vulture Look at that, man. And the paint detail in there, that is just amazing. And it's disgusting, too. I love it. I just love how they got all that paint detail in there. It's like a real nasty-looking old dude. Purvo McGee. I don't know, it reminds me of that guy a little bit. I really love the sculpt right here on the feathers going around his neck. Uh, the sculpt on the suit overall is fantastic too, kind of like how I said about the Spider-Man figure in the Fearsome Foes pack, how it has like parts stretching around it, like right there on the back, you could see, you know, there's cloth coming around it. On the legs, you could see that too, so I think that's very, very cool. He's got this really neat wash going on. It looks like it's just the lighting, but it's actually shading in the figure. It's just a very, very delicate you know, wash that they did on this thing in the creases and whatnot. I just think that is very cool. You can see it a lot better on the wings. This is just great. I love the way they made these wings. Really, really cool. That is just so badass. I love that. Just beautifully sculpted. Hey, and his arm fell off. Oh, crap. Yeah, what I do is I just use a hot glue so I can reposition it to whatever I want. So, I'll do the rest of the review with no arm. You know, I really like how the boots are sculpted. He's got these elf boots kind of sticking up like this. Very nice, though. I just really love how this is done. I like his hunchback, you know. And, you know, I just really like it. His head moves up a decent amount and side to side he has these weak well on the left side it's a weak ass ball joint and moves up and down and out bicep swivel he only has a single jointed elbow but that moves really far for a single jointed elbow i think that's great he has this forearm swivel which is cool so you could you know position him around still i like how they separated the wings like that his wrist moves up and down and he has finger clamping action and he has a slightly different pose on his right hand than he does on his left so they're just a little bit different but almost the same. He has a torso joint that moves a decent amount. It's kind of hard to get it to stay up. It kind of goes back down when you tilt it back, but you know, it moves. It's actually really not the best ab crunch joint. He has a good waist joint. He has ball joints that are here, move out, thigh swivel, double joint knees, calf swivel, ankle moves up and down, toes pointy, and then he doesn't really have much of an ankle pivot. You can tell it's supposed to kind of be there, but it's not. One minor detail that I love that Toy Biz did here is that you can see on the ankle joint, this is a different kind of plastic, and it's a slightly different color. But one thing I've been noticing with a lot of Marvel Legends and Marvel Universe figures is that this would be some odd color or something, and I really like that they chose this color that, you know, seems to blend in. You can notice it when you look really close, but as you zoom out, it's, it's pretty much flawless, you know? And he comes with this base, which I actually forgot to show in the Fearsome Foes Spider-Man review that, you know, it's right here. But all the characters in the Fearsome Foes pack have these bases. It's got two pegs sticking up right there, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really like this picture of the Vulture. He looks a little too handsome right there. Handsome. This one is a lot nastier. <laughs> 
There he is compared to the Ultimate Captain America. And, you know, he's a good size. So he's not too small or anything. He's about the right height. He hunches a little bit. So very good uh, six-inch figure. Just really, really awesome. I highly recommend it. And uh, that's my review, guys. Hope you dig it. And catch you later. Check out PKP and da -da. Oh, that's Shardimus. He is so awesome. But now what should I do on the internets? You go to PKPN.net! Here, let me show you, man! Big Kids Big News is number one source for geek news, reviews, toys, comics, movies, cartoons, video games, and more! Next time you're done watching my videos, where are you going? PKPN.net! Where are you going? PKPN.net! <laughs>